So I want to start off this video with a little bit of a story. <laughs> this happened back, I had a conversation with this, with a random stranger back uh, probably about three years ago now. I met this person who was in an art gallery and they said, I asked what I did for a living and I told them, I was like, oh, I'm a musician. Their immediate response, now granted to a stranger, was their immediate response to me was, oh, I'm sorry. And I was like, are you serious? Like, you don't know me from Adam, and you're gonna make a comment like that? Like, you know, going on to the whole starving musician kind of mentality? And that whole concept of the starving musician has always bothered me. Because I think that so many people have this misconception of what it really means. And I think that part of the reason that we get lumped into this starving musician mentality is because there are so many weekend warriors, what I call them. And so many, and there's no shame in being a weekend warrior, but it's all those people, all those guys that play one gig a month at a bar down the street from their house, you know. That's totally fine if you're into that, but those aren't career musicians. I think that career musicians, career artists are the kind of people that do the, do it as their job and really are trying, even if it's not your full-time job yet, like it wasn't for mine for years. I was wore so many hats, working in an art gallery, working for my parents' business, giving guitar lessons, doing video work, doing random odd jobs so I can make money. It's not about that. It's about just really having the vision of it becoming your full-time job. It's like, it's like I, I think I make this comparison all the time. What if I were to do, you know, draw a set of plans for a house once a month? Does that make me an architect? No. So going and playing at your, 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 your friend's bar for once a month doesn't make you a professional musician. Yeah, you make money from it, but I think that it's very different. And like I said, there's no shame in being that. I just, I don't like that we get grouped into it with those people. I wouldn't be grouped into the architect if I just drew a set of, of a house once, you know, like it's that concept. So that being said, it's always bothered me this 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 concept that the star musician is so hard to make in the music industry. And and look, it is like if you want to become the top top top, I'm not gonna lie. Of course, I like the odds are against everybody, but that doesn't mean that you can't be the one. And I hate that people say that. No, the odds are so hard, so you might as well just not try. That's pretty much what they're saying when they say, you know, oh the odds are against you. It's like they're saying you might as well not try because the chances are so small. But like, what if you are the one? So that's been my whole platform. It's something I'm really passionate about and always frustrated me. And now it's paying off because this year, based on uh, January and February's income so far, the past two months, based on that, wait, we're in February, no. Based on December of 2020 and January of 2021, how things have been going and growing and what I'm projecting for this month, February right now, in the year of 2021, it's looking like I'm gonna make over $100,000 from YouTube. That's insane. And that's where we are right now with about 39,000, almost 40,000 subscribers. As this channel can continue to grow, you can bet that that number is going to continue to grow. And I'm not saying I want to get this out of the way right off the bat. I was nervous to post this video because I'm like, I don't know if I want to put this out there. It's not to, to brag and be like, look what I'm making. Look, it's real money now. It's like, no, absolutely not. It's actually to show you that I want to break that stereotype that it's impossible to do it in the music industry, that you're gonna be a starving musician, that it's so hard in the music industry, that blah, blah, blah. And it, look, I'm not gonna lie, the first year I was a musician, I made $9,000. The whole year. I dropped out of college that year, that year I made $9,000. <laughs> you know, I made almost $9,000 last month. Seven years later. But that's the concept, it's seven years later. I put in stupid amount of work, almost 2,200 videos on YouTube, 80 songs out there. So it's not this overnight sensation. It's if you're willing to put in the work and really grind your face and you love it, don't just do it for the money because there's a lot of other ways to make money faster, not gonna lie. But if you really love it, then why can't you be the next one? And that's the whole mentality of this platform is I want to be the example and I've always it's always frustrated me that people didn't didn't have the faith and it's like why can't I be the one and now that I am starting to become the one I want to say why can't you be the next one why can't you go and do it and maybe you make 50,000 maybe you would make 500,000 who knows maybe make 50 million but like don't let other people say that you can't do anything so I want this to to really encourage you and I just want to say cheers to going and getting your dreams peace see you in the next video People say find contentment And they say I shouldn't get a job <laughs> Cause they don't think this is working They say Jake, it's been years You haven't gotten very far Am I living with vision? Or is this something I regret? They don't doubt I have passion But they ask What makes me different from the rest And I know my dreams don't fit their plans Why can't my dreams just be my plans? I want someone to believe in me I'm not crazy, I just want you to see life
Living at all, and people aren't living. 